Uh, good evening and welcome to the Reebok Stadium for tonight's Worthington Cup second round first leg game. The Wanderers taking on Hull City. Hull City got here courtesy of a win against Crystal Palace. Quite a shock that in the first round of the Cup. Bolton Wanderers, they progress this second round via Hartlepool. A bit of an easier task for the home side tonight. It's a slightly changed lineup from the weekend for the Wanderers. Nathan Blake's out through injury tonight. He doesn't play the strike force tonight, taking in Gunlarks, and he's got three goals already this season. And we've got the likes of Bob Taylor, he's three as well. And the Jamaican Ricardo Gardner, he's got one so far this season. Hull City, the visitors, they've struggled in the third division. They only narrowly avoided relegation to the Vauxhall Conference last season, and they've started off really in the same vein. They come to the Reebok Stadium tonight as the underdogs to face Bolton, who are well placed at the top of the first division, looking to bounce straight back into the Premiership. Give you another rundown of the team lineups now we'll start off with Bolton Wanderers they start off you'll see Jaska Leinen in goal Neil Cox at two Jimmy Phillips is three Klaus Jensen at four Gundy Bergson five Greg Strong six Michael Johansson seven Per Franson eight Bob Taylor at nine Ricardo Gardner at ten and Arna Gunlaugsen at eleven the substitutes for Bolton tonight there Mike Whitlow Keith Brannigan, Ida Goodjensen, Hasni Al Joffrey, and Dean Holden. Your visitors, Hull City, they have Steve Wilson in goal, Mark Greaves at two, Neil Mann at three, Matt Hocking is four, Neil Whitworth at five, Stephen Hawes six, Richard Peacock seven, Brian McGinty eight, David Brown nine, David Deora ten, and John French at eleven. The substitutes for Hull City, Mike Edwards, Bob Dewhurst, Lee Ellington, the old stager Kevin Gage, and Ben Morley. Your referee tonight is Mr. T. Bates from Stoke. And as I was saying before, Hull City really do come here. The underdogs, they will not really be expecting to come away with much, so anything that the uh, men from the North East can get hold of will be a bonus. If they can come away from a, with a draw from the Reebok tonight, they'll think it's a job well done. Bolton, they'll be looking to seal things here before the trip up to Boothbury, Far Boothbury Park. They'll be looking for goals here, and I would imagine plenty of them for that excellent performance at the weekend against Birmingham City. Two lucky mascots for the night walk off the pitch. The teams uh, get into their positions, ready to start this game. The same Mr Bates from Stoke officiating this match tonight. And there's uh, golf balls, or tennis balls rather, coming onto the pitch from behind the Hull City goal. And uh, I think there's going to be a delay here while the referee sorts this one out. Indeed, Mr Bates, uh, I think, walking over. Just to have a look at what's going on here. And uh, a few of the ground staff coming on to try and... Uh, Remove the obstruction, the players will just keep themselves warm. They won't want to uh, pull any muscles while they're waiting around here. And it's the whole city supporters behind the goal there that have thrown those tennis balls onto the pitch. And that... Uh, little obstruction from the pitch seems to have been moved away now. An interesting start before this match has even kicked off. Look out for that one on what happens next, I think. And the referee seems happy with the clean-up job that's been done now and uh, hopefully we'll uh, get ourselves underway.
So it's Hull City who'll kick this uh, Worthington Cup second round first leg game off. And we get ourselves underway. Start off with Stephen Hawes trying to play the ball through the midfield, but Bolton quickly intercepts it. And it's Franson with a ball down the right-hand side towards Gunlarkson. But that's swept up there by Matt Hocking. Bolton instantly on the tack. Throw to be taken by Michael Johansson into Gunlarkson. Bolton looking to build down the right-hand side, but uh, cleared away by Hull. As Gundy Bergson will just tidy things up at the back for Bolton. And it's Jimmy Phillips who can launch an attack down the left-hand side, but that's uh, headed away by Mark Greaves there. Now down the Hull left-hand side, long ball forward by Richard Peacock, but uh, offside flag goes up there. Two, two linesmen today. Mr. Kellett and Mr. Smith, respectively. As Bolton uh, play the ball away out to the left-hand side. Aimed up towards Gunlarkson, but that's again cleared by the Hull City defence. And it's Richard Peacock making uh, tracks down the left-hand side. Plays it inside to David Dora, long-range shot. And the first shot of any note coming from Hull City. And it'll be Jaska Leinen to take the goal kick for Bolton. Long down the middle of the field. Good header on there from Taylor, but straight through to Steve Wilson in the Hull City goal. Hull again get the ball in a promising position. Good tackling there from Jensen. But Hull win it back down the far side. But again, that's tidied up by Bolton. Franson now through the midfield. Could be a break on down the far side here, but uh, Gunnarsson just mistimed his control. And Hull can bring the ball away again. Switching sides down the left this time. And it just runs out for a throw-in. And maybe a bit of danger here for Bolton. And, well, Jessica Leinen delaying things there. A few hearts in mouths. Spoon Larkson picks it up in the midfield area. Plays it out to Phillips on the left. And again, Hull managed to break that one up, and it falls for David Dora. Now, what support has he got? He's got somebody clear down the left-hand side. If he looks up, but he's going to try and go all the way. Could be a shot coming in here. But it just ricochets off. I think it was... Uh, Phillips there, and it's going to be the first corner of the game to Hull City. So a promising start for Hull, one shot just off target, and they've got the first corner of the match. And can they cause any problems for Bolton here? In comes across towards a penalty spot, that's uh, headed away there by... Bob Taylor and away on this right hand side to Michael Johansson maybe a long ball over the top and Bolton could be breaking here it's Gunlarkson with the ball in the midfield he's got some support up it's Klaus Jensen but uh, he's dispossessed there but again the ball comes back to Bolton and again Hull City clear it Bolton looking threatening in this attack now Taylor with the ball on the right hand side it breaks for Johansson on the right touchline he tries to get a left foot shot in and uh, well and Larkson with a high foot there concedes a the free kick inside the whole penalty area but that was a promising break from Bolton they just couldn't get the spare man away and in the clear so it's a free kick to Hull City That one's down the middle, flicked on in the midfield, but again, no Hull player really there to pick the ball up, and Bolton can launch again. 
up to Gunlaugson, flicks it to Gardner on the left-hand side, laid back to Jimmy Phillips now. Phillips up to Gunlaugson, nice little flick on there, but he won't be able to pick up the pieces, but the referee, uh, Mr Bates, giving a free kick there. About 15, 20 yards outside the Hull City area. I think it may be a little bit too far for a, a long-range effort. Is this going to be something that we've seen on the training ground, maybe? Little flick towards a penalty spot. Up goes the heads, but it's over the crossbar. And a goal kick for Hull City. So just coming up to six minutes on the clock here. Nil-nil the score. As Hull looks to come forward again. Play to the left-hand side and Richard Peacock. Now he's shadowed there by Neil Cox. Job just to hold up. He gets a cross in, but uh, just drifted behind and a goal kick to Bolton. It's, you see Yaskalainen with the goal kick for Bolton. Another long ball into the Hull half, flicked on there by Bob Taylor, but cleared long upfield from the Hull City back. Phillips, left back, tries to find Gunlarsen down the left hand side, but mocked up by Hull again. Gunlaugson, flick on by Taylor, can he control it? No, he can't, but the ball again breaks for Bob Taylor. Away to the left-hand side. Phillips tries to thread the ball through, that'll be a little bit too much for Ricardo Gardner. Just half a pound too much on the pass there. But again, Bolton building quite promisingly, but the final ball just not making the front men in a dangerous position. There's a goal kick to Hull. Steve Wilson launches that one into the Bolton half. Up go the heads, Greg Strong there with a header played forward again by Hull. No problem for the Bolton defence there. Taylor with the header, lays it off to Gardner. Gardner back into the midfield. Jensen. Nice ball to Bob Taylor, some good control there, just lays it short for Franson. Uh, Ricardo Gardner on the left hand side and a slip there. And the conditions really have been uh, terrible in the northwest today. Uh, lots of rain and uh, the surface will be quite slippy out there. And uh, Gardner just falling foul to the uh, bad weather that we have seen in Bolton. Taylor with a flick on, but again, Hull will mop that one up. Neil Mann all the way back to uh, Steve Wilson in the Hull City goal. He affects the clearance. And a uh, little bit of head tennis there, and it's uh, finally picked up by Jensen. Out to Jimmy Phillips on the left-hand side. Good ball forward to Gunlarkson. Now what can he do with this? He's shadowed all the way there by Neil Whitworth. And he's got away from me. He comes inside the box. The support coming from Taylor. Oh, right across the face of goal. It was good work by Gunlarkson. But there was no Bolton player there to put the final touch on the ball and give Bolton the lead. But it was a great break down the left-hand side by Gunlarkson. And Bolton can uh, look to come forward again. And it's that man, Gunlarkson, on the ball. The run continued there. He skips past one. Tries to chip it in. And well, there's a mix-up there in the whole City defence, and I think that's going to be a corner. Indeed, a whole player got the final touch on it as opposed to a Bolton player. I think it's Matt Hocking. But Bolton uh, 
the most threatening attack so far of the game. So it's a corner to Bolton. It's going to be Gunlarkson to take this one. And let's hope one of his colleagues can actually get a touch on this. Just played short to Gardner. Gunlarkson out to Johansson on the edge of the box. He tries to chip it in. Charged down by Hull City. And there could be a break on here for Hull City down this uh, left-hand side. It's number 10, David Dora. He cuts in towards the middle of the park, unleashes a shot. And that ends up uh, quite wide. And here's the break, it's uh, Gunlarkson into the box, he fires it straight across the area and there's no white shirt there to turn it into the box. Bolton, uh, meanwhile, have a free kick. And uh, ranging forward is uh, Jensen. Back to guard and a chip towards the far post and that'll be mopped up by Neil Mann on this left-hand side. A long throwing up the line, flicked on for Hull City. And again, the uh, player losing his foot in. It's David Brown that time, but he manages to get the ball into the midfield and played out towards the right hand side. Could be danger here. Gardner trying to hold Hull City up. It comes into the middle of the park. Some nice passing play here from Hull. Away down the right hand side. Into the box it's played there. Tries to get the cross in, but it just. Uh, Unlucky bounce there, and Bolton can bring the ball away. It's uh, down the left-hand side. Klaus Jensen. Gardner. Now down this right-hand side. Johansson. Can he make anything for it for Bolton? Into the box with Franson. That's a good delivery. Oh, great stop there from the goalkeeper, Steve Wilson. It was a good ball into the box. It fell to Pear Franson and he hits it. And the whole City goalkeeper had to be on top form to keep that one out. Bolton starting to look more and more threatening. They come forward again. Again on the edge of the area, Gunlarkson. Now will he try the shot? He tries the shot. Oh, inches wide there. Two efforts in a minute. Johansson and Gunlarkson. One good save and one just inches wide. There's a shot from Franson. It was hit very well. And keeper Steve Wilson making a save. And again, no Bolton player on hand to pick up the pieces. As Hull City win a free kick just inside the centre circle in the Bolton half. Hull down the left-hand side. Crossed towards the edge of the day. And that should be easily mocked up by Jimmy Phillips there. He's shadowed all the way by... Mark Greaves and Phillips puts the ball out of play. It's, uh, three good chances uh, a couple of minutes ago for Bolton there and uh, they are starting to look more and more threatening as the ball comes into the area and that's easily mocked up by the Bolton defence and it's played wide to Johansson down the right hand side again losing his footing but he's managed to find Bob Taylor on the right hand side Gunlarkson was screaming for it in the middle but there's an infringement spotted there by Mr Bates the referee and it's uh, it, well it's offside so free kick to Hull taken quickly played down the left hand side up goes the offside flag on the opposite side this time So 14 minutes on the clock. No goals here yet. Bolton with the better of the chances. Two for Armour Gunlarkson and one for Per Franson. As Hull City concede a free kick some 15 yards outside their own penalty area. I would imagine we will probably see a shot coming in here. Try and test the keeper in the whole goal. 
Duncan Larkson with the shot. Oh, and another one just inches wide. Bolton come away again, Gunlarkson on the right hand side, cuts inside, plays a little ball into Johansson, he jinks on the edge of the penalty area, again on the edge of the area but uh, Hull might smuggle that one away only as far as Per Franson, exchange of passes there and uh, Hull really should break that one up. And Hull can try and break down this left hand side, that's a good ball through there towards uh, David Dora but again tracking back Greg Strong just mopping things up there Garda just trying to uh, create some space in the midfield here plays it back towards uh, Bergson And the ball goes all the way back to the Bolton keeper here at Burnham Park. It's, uh, beg your pardon, the Reebok Stadium. It's still Bolton Wanderers nil, Hull City nil after 16 minutes. Bolton with the better chances so far as they look to launch another attack down the left hand side. That one's broken up by the Hull defence. It's uh, two good efforts from Gunlags and one went straight across the face of goal. No Bolton play really there to turn it into the net. Franson then had a shot saved by keeper Steve Wilson in the Hull City goal. And then Gunlarsson again shot just inches wide at the right-hand post. But it's Bolton building the better of the attacks as they once again look to threaten on the edge of the Hull area. Hull with just the one effort. And that was a shot wide after just two minutes. So 17 minutes are on the clock now. It's still Bolton nil, Hull City nil. Gunlarkson robs the ball down in the corner there he's uh, looking for a bit of support but uh, he might try and go all the way himself tries to play it outside to Johansson, can he get the cross in in it comes but again Hull City mop up, no Bolton player in space but uh, the white shirts maintain the ball, Jimmy Phillips plays it up towards Ricardo Garden on the left hand side, his flick on into the middle, good play here Gunlaugsen now on the edge of the D tries to play a 1-2 with Bob Taylor and again Hull quite a few people back to defend and the ball can uh, break loose out on the far right hand side it's David Brown just cuts inside his uh, marker not many Hull players showing tries to feed uh, down the left hand side towards Richard Peacock but Bolton wise to that one and they can launch a counter attack, Gunlaugsen now tries to play it through the middle with a very tight offside trap there from Hull City just stepping up and uh, no Bolton player far enough forward Cox with the header Franson wins the ball again some good interplay from the Wanderers players here building from the back trying to hit the touchline a good tackle there from uh, David Dora just letting Neil Cox know that he's about Again, it's Gunlarkson. A lucky break there. It might fall for Gardner, but uh, headed away there by the whole city defence. And uh, Mark Greaves was a judge for being fouled by Ricardo Gardner. And that will be, uh, I think it's Stephen Hawes to take this free kick, plays it short out towards uh, Matt Hocking he's shadowed, there's going to be offside there Bolton back four playing well so far really snuffing out any of the attacks Hull City have thrown at them just the one shot in the second minute from Hull that one really going well wide of the uh, left hand post of Yossi uh, Jaskalainen Jaskalainen 
Jacks to line him with the free kick. Up towards Taylor. He's out jumped. But again, it falls to Cox. And uh, another long clearance and pull fails to find a yellow and white shirt. And it's going to be Cox with the throwing down the line, looking for Gunlarkson. Johansson goes down the right hand side, but it's still with Cox. Tries to play it over towards uh, Gunlarkson again, just a little bit too far for the big striker. But as has so often happened so far tonight, it breaks the game for a white shirt. Good exchange of passes there. Ball in towards Bob Taylor on the edge of the area. He's nearly hustled out. He could go all the way. Bob Taylor, he goes down under a challenge. No penalty, says the referee. It looked like he was caught just as he went through. He did go down rather tamely, but no penalty, says Mr Bates. Good interchange of passes on the left-hand side. It broke to Taylor. He had a bit of luck, and then it seemed like he was caught from behind as, uh, well, Gardner gives away a free kick in uh, somewhat strange circumstances. Hull play the ball forward, but... Uh, Falls to another white shirt, Gunlarkson. Oh, nice little turn there. But he lets the pass go astray, and there's uh, three men down this left-hand side. It comes out wide on the left now to Richard Peacock. What can he do with it? Right-footed into the box. Oh, nearly ahead of there. Good interception from Greg Strong. A crucial interception from Greg Strong there. Well, here goes Bob Taylor into the box. He takes it past him, and, well... We've seen those given, haven't we? Again, ball into the box, and that's going to be easy for Jaskalainen. Plays it out towards Johansson on the right-hand side. Some good breaks come down this right-hand side of Michael Johansson. The ops come in through the middle. Little exchange of passes. Gunlarkson now on the edge of the area. He tries a short charge down. And Gardner skews his shot well wide of the goal. It's the uh, umpteen goal kick for Hull City in this first half. Steve Wilson trying to get his uh, teammates into some sort of attacking mode. They've mainly done the defending Hull City so far. But who knows if they could snatch a goal. That really would be an upset as uh, Johansson charges the ball down there. The linesman on this near side gives a free kick to the Tigers. Matt Hocking. Whitworth only gets the ball as far as Neil Cox, but that's charged down and uh, Hull could come away, but once again, Jensen breaks that up. Nice little flick there by Gunlarkson, but uh, not to one of his own teammates. But once again, Hull City give the ball away. Another nice passing move, Gunlarkson. Whoa, well, his legs just weren't long enough to stop that ball. If he could have controlled that and got a shot in, Hull could have been in serious trouble. as it's played to Neil Mann on this left-hand side. Again, Cox intercepts, but the ball breaks, fortunately, for Hull. And David Dora wins them a free kick. Well, it's a throw-in, I beg your pardon. It's going to be taken by uh, Neil Mann. Cox with the header. Nearly broke for Pair France in there. France and shadowing Steve Hawes, he manages to sweep the ball away to the right hand side, and that's Mark Greaves over there. 
And again, that one's broke up, and uh, Steve Wilson comes way out of his goal to clear that one. And if he did skewed that clearance, Ben Larkson uh, could have made him pay for it. But that is, it is the ball's gone straight back to Bolton. And uh, another player on his uh, backside, Bob Taylor, again this time. And, uh, conditions really greasy out there on the pitch. As Hulking come forward, now it's Neil Mann down this left-hand side. There's a man screaming for the ball in the middle. It comes played in, but uh, that's really it's a poor cross into the box. And the upshot is it's a goal kick to Bolton. That really was a poor cross into the box there. away on the far side it's uh, Klaus Jensen he wins the free kick Phillips takes a quick one looking for Bob Taylor nice little flick on good ball for good logs and tries to shot great save from Wilson but there's uh, again no Bolton player there following up to turn the ball in the net and Hull City can bring it away be danger on the break here but uh, ball shepherded back to Joska Leinen and he completes the clearance to relieve that little bit of pressure from the Wanderers So there's Gun Larkson, he's got the ball from Phillips, he tries a shot and that's a good save from Steve Wilson in the uh, in the Hull City goal. As we've uh, had a change of ball here, the referee obviously uh, unhappy with that one. I think he's seen too many tennis balls today. And the foul throw there from uh, Hull City, that one please uh, Mark Haley, the manager, basic schoolboy stuff, that really gives the ball away to Bolton just inside the Hull City area. That uh, previous Gunnarsson shot was set up by some real quick thinking by Jimmy Phillips. He spotted his man making the run, found him perfectly, but uh, Steve Wilson, the Hull City goalkeeper, was equal to it as uh, another ball over the top from Hull City. Picked up by Greg Strong. Phillips on the left-hand side. Wins the ball back again, looks for Gunlarkson in the forward position, but uh, Hull City mopped that one up. But again, give the ball away, and you can't really do that, but they've won it back here down this left-hand side. But again, there's no real support, but it's picked up in the end by David Brown. Just lays it inside to Peacock, flick forward towards the edge of the box. Could be a shot coming in here, that's... Half charge down and uh, in the end, Jaska Leinen tidies the things up. Steve Hall's there with the shot for Hull City. It's probably the nearest to an on-target shot they've got so far in this opening 28 minutes, Hull City. But again, Bolton can uh, try and come away. Hull just uh, tidying things up there. They've uh, given Bolton a lot of space at the back, but uh, so far the Wanderers not been able to convert the several chances that have come their way. switch wide right to Neil Cox back to France and patient build up from Bolton here not trying to give the ball away just play the, the short pass and Gunlarkson a lot of good things come from this man so far tonight plays it out to Gardner on the left hand side leaves it to Phillips Gunlarkson that comes back to uh, Jensen inside the area and uh, as the ball came to Garden, he was uh, just tackled there. But it's a throw into Bolton on the left-hand touchline. So 
taken short to Janssen inside to Gunlarkson on the edge of the box so maybe just dallied a little bit Branson tries the shots charge down again and Hull defending uh, in numbers there but they've conceded the uh, free kick in what could be a dangerous position if uh, Gunlarkson decides to have a pop from that sort of range but uh, he's actually making his way into the box it's going to be Franson, I think, who may have a go here. It's about 20 yards outside the box. Long run up from Pair Franson. Now, what can he do with this? Takes the shot straight into the whole city wall, but uh, Bolton retained possession. Johansson on the right hand side here. And can he uh, whip one of his crosses in? And can somebody get on the end of it? There goes the cross, but uh, just a little bit too high for Gardner again. Goal kick to hold. Had it coming in there from uh, Neil Cox. And Johansson down the right hand side finds Gunlarkson. Can he keep it in? Yes, he does. Now then, what can he do? Ranging towards the edge of the box. Might try the shot, tries to kill one. But that one's uh, just a little bit on the wide side. So here at the Reebok Stadium after just over half an hour it's still Bolton Wanderers nil, Hull City nil but uh, Bolton doing 99% of the pushing so far they've had some good chances two good saves by uh, Steve Wilson in the Hull City goal as uh, Bolton look to come forward again nice little uh, bit of play there from Taylor he's tackled from behind and that'll be a free kick and uh, quite possibly a booking the, the referee uh, looks to get his card out but uh, Gunlarkson with two good shots one of them well saved by uh, Steve Wilson and Bob Taylor brought down inside the area, appeals for a penalty by Bolton, not given by uh, referee Mr Bates. And really just two efforts from Hull, one shot just wide in the second minute, and just a few minutes ago, another effort that went well wide of the mark. But uh, Bolton looking comfortable in defence and dangerous in attack so far, but just after the half-hour mark, the ball comes into the area there, picked up by Franson on the edge of the box, now what can he do? Well, an infringement on the edge of the box, and it's a free kick to Bolton, but uh, after just over half an hour, it's still Bolton nil, Hull City nil. So this is a very dangerous position for a free kick. Frentz and Gunlarkson, they can both hit balls. And can they do anything just after the half hour mark here? Considerable wall from the uh, Hull City players. Taken short, Gunlarkson with the chip straight into the arms of Steve Wilson lacked a little bit of power he went for placement Gunlarkson but only managed to place it straight into the hole keeper's hands long ball down the right hand side Gunlarkson again picks the ball up plays it into the area but uh, could have done with just lifting it a little bit further Bob Taylor was uh, running in around the penalty spot there but Bolton still have the ball and a uh, throw in down this right hand side Neil Cox is the man gone to take it Bolton with uh, quite a few options in and around the box they've come back to Bergson he lifts the ball into the box it uh, falls to Taylor he brings it back outside he'll look to build again probably patiently but he might go for the shot again no trouble for Steve Wilson I'll imagine it would be uh, an interesting uh, cup of tea if this scoreline stays as it is at half time. I think Mark Haley would be more than pleased with his side's progress in this game. As I say, it only takes a second to score a goal. Throw into Bolton down the right hand side. Cox. 
plays it short to Taylor, gets the ball back up towards Gunlogson, heads the ball down. Johansson was uh, trying to get away there, but uh, Hulk just tried to uh, get that ball away. Good ball through the middle if there'd have been a whole player there, but no trouble for the bottom defence. Phillips up to uh, Gunlogson, but that one's uh, going to be cleared away by Matt Hocking. But again, there's only one Hull uh, attacker and three Bolton defenders there as uh, Bob Taylor made the run forward, but uh, linesman on the far side says that's offside. Uh, Bolton not been caught offside too many times so far tonight. I think that's only the third one that we've had from the Whites. But for all the uh, good build-up play, the killer punch hasn't come yet combination of poor shooting and a couple of good saves from Steve Wilson keeping Hull City in the game it's another uh, offside decision for Hull City there Taylor and uh, Gunlogson uh, with a bit of a dummy manoeuvre there played out towards the right hand side again and it's Johansson, little jinking run, good play there now what can he do with it? Comes towards the edge of the box, gets to Franson. Will he try and get the shot in? Takes it onto his left foot. That's charged down there by the whole defence. It may break for Gardner. Plays it to Jensen. Overcomes the chip. Bob Taylor was probably in an offside position there, but Hull can bring the ball away this time. David Dora in the midfield area, but uh, again the ball breaks for the three Bolton defenders at the back. But there's a slip there, and ooh, that could have been dangerous for Bolton. But it's uh, cleared up there and it's Cox on this right-hand side now. He's got company. And that should be a free kick to Bolton. And uh, the linesman says, yes, it is. Taylor fouled from behind by uh, Matt Hocking. And uh, there'll be another booking there. And it's going to be Matt Hocking for a, a little back heel there. That's the second hole player into the book tonight. Matt Hocking with a yellow card to his name. Oh. So free kick to Bolton. Cox lifts it into the box towards Bob Taylor. That's just over him. Taylor went down, but I think it was more a combination of uh, the slippery conditions than a nudge in the back there. Gardner nice little turn but he just couldn't get to the ball after that turn and uh, away on the far side that was uh, Mark Greaves just keeping the ball alive for Hull and it goes all the way back to Steve Wilson he has to uh, scramble away to his left there to pick that back pass up a little bit astray and good play there from uh, Neil Cox wins a throw in the whole player just leaving the ball uh, going to let it go but Cox was alive to the situation and uh, Managed to turn that into Bolton's advantage as Branson with a nice little back heel there for Jensen. Jensen battling hard. Bergson, uh, a little nibble of his heels behind, coming in from uh, Brian McGinty there. And uh, Bergson's uh, won a free kick. And it'll be Bergson himself, probably lift this one into the box. Indeed he does, again Hull managed to get the first head to it and the clearance completed by John French. But Bolton so fast in that middle area and there's another good challenge coming in and it's broke for Gunlarkson, now what can he do for it? He's coming through the middle, uh, another tackle from behind there. David Dora the offender this time, he's saying he went down under his own steam ref but uh, Mr Bates from Stoke deciding it was a legitimate foul from the Hull City number 10. And again, Bolton have a free kick in a dangerous position. Now, will we see another placement shot from Gunlarsson or maybe a bit of power from Franson? So, uh, Steve Wilson constructs another wall in front of him there. Taylor tries to fill the gap. Maybe Franson will look to fire the ball straight through where Taylor's stood. Looks like it could be Franson. Tries to chip it over. And the ball straight over the crossbar. 
Steve Wilson's wall uh, just doing its job there. And uh, another chance really goes begging for Bolton as we enter the 40th minute of this game. Still Bolton Wanderers nil, Hull City nil. Bolton with quite a few chances and not really uh, making anything of them. Two good saves from the Hull City keeper, Wilson. More battling from uh, Johansson there, but uh, bad pass from Hull City gives the ball back to Bolton. Bergson away to the left hand side again by uh, Greg Strong. Phillips has played some good balls down that left hand channel for uh, Gardner, but this time it's Taylor who picks it up. He manages to cut inside, plays it to Gunn Larkson and tries to find Ricardo Gardner away on the right hand side. He manages to keep it in. Ballbot comes back to Phillips now. Can he deliver a cross? He decides to play it short to Bob Taylor. Cuts inside on the left foot. Oh, Taylor fires that one wide. Good build up there, but the shot going uh, fairly wide from Bob Taylor in the end. But yet another effort for Bolton. Go the heads and it's Bolton one first to it again. Gunn Larkson plays a ball forward and there was no offside flag there for Bob Taylor. And if he could have just uh, controlled it better. And uh, here comes Bob Taylor. He gets it on his right foot, but again he just slips as he makes contact with the ball. The conditions playing havoc there. Maybe some uh, longer studs required in the second half. The Bolton players as uh, Hull City again have the ball. David Dora. Played up towards the front line and the ball comes eventually to Neil Mann. Franson uh, hassling him there. Now what can he do with it? Tries to slip it down left-hand side to Peacock. Peacock plays it into the box, but once more the Hull City attack absolutely nowhere to be seen and Bolton can bring that away. Gunn Larkson really has played very well for Bolton tonight after his uh, star showing on Saturday. And it's uh, Phillips and Gardner down the left hand side might come out to the uh, far side there another exchange of passes Gardner plays it up towards the edge of the uh, area Bob Taylor with the ball back to goal though he tries to slide the ball back but uh, it game breaks for Bolton Gunn tries a back heel and that one's easily cleared up towards David Brown but uh, no support again for the Hull City front man and uh, Bolton can bring it away, Jensen. Now can he create a, a little bit of magic for Bolton? Tries to play it to Taylor, who again ends up falling. Johansson to Franson to Taylor. Good ball back from Taylor there to Pair Franson. Now what can he do? Tries to cut in on his right foot. Ball breaks for Gunn but again he just couldn't uh, reach far enough to control it. Turn and get in the shot. Foul coming in there, but play on, says the referee, and it's David Dora down the left-hand side. He's got support coming in from Richard Peacock, just going down the left-hand side, and Peacock picks the ball up there, and that's good play by the uh, Hull City number seven. Tries a long-range shot. Oh, good save there from uh, Jasker Line, and that would have gone in if he hadn't got his hands to it. And that really is the first shot on target from Hull City. Taylor again tries to start things moving for Bolton but uh, Gardner loses out there and uh, once again Hull City can try and come away and it's going to be Peacock down this side again now can he get it into the danger area there's only one Hull City player up in front of him again he'll try the shot this time charged down by the Bolton defence but it uh, falls to Hull City again and a little nibble on the heels of uh, John French there no free kick saves the referee but that most certainly is Gardner going down under the challenge and here's a whole City chance it's uh, a good shot there on the right foot and uh, would that have gone in whoa yes it's a good save there by Jasker Leinen just keeping his side in the game as Gardner brings the ball forward a 
Ogden Larkson. Can he uh, do anything just as half time looms here? Some 10 seconds of uh, normal time left on the clock. There hasn't really been any stoppage time. Johansson in the box to Neil Cox. Now, can he do anything? Plays the ball across. Oh, and there was, uh, I think it was Taylor again coming in at the far post. But again, couldn't get the direction on the shot. As Hull City come away in the form of David Brown. Exchanges passes. Brian McGinty has it. And Peacock. Probably uh, Hull City's most threatening player down this left-hand side in the first half. As uh, half-time looms, Hull trying to build something patiently, but in the end, it's uh, Neil Mann who puts paid to that little uh, move. So we're into first half injury time here at the Reebok Stadium. As uh, Jusko Leinen launches the ball forward, the referee's uh, not had a peek at his watch yet. Good header from Greg Strong, but only as far as the yellow shirt. And again, Peacock plays a ball forward to David Dora, or tries to uh, nip inside, but Strong's equal to that one. Strong, who's uh, won his place back in the uh, bottom first team after a spell on loan at Blackpool the back end of last season. Played well, obviously uh, impressed and got his uh, spot back as Bolton come forward again. Phillips on the left-hand side. Tries to get Gunn-Larkson in and there's a chance here for Bolton. Gunn-Larkson towards the six-yard area, lays it back and there's the goal! Great move from Bolton and right on the stroke of half-time it's Jimmy Phillips who's put the ball into the back of the net. It was Gunn-Larkson in space down the left. He laid it back for Phillips. Left-footed shot, no problem. So there's Gunn-Larkson inside the box, he looks up, he spots Phillips coming in, left-footed, and Steve Wilson no chance with that one at all. So, two minutes into first half injury time, it's Bolton 1, Hull City nil. Jimmy Phillips with the goal, and uh, set up by Armour Gunn-Larkson, who's really had a tremendous first half. And Hull City will be very disappointed to go in a goal down, but really it's no more than Bolton deserve, and there goes a the half-time whistle, first half, has finished at the Reebok, and it's Bolton 1, Hull City 0. So we're uh, ready to get the second half underway here at the Reebok Stadium. Bolton with that one goal advantage from the first half. Jimmy Phillips two minutes into injury time with the goal. Just one substitution at half time for Hull City. Ben Morley's come on. Mark Greaves the man taking the early shower. As the ball's launched upfield by a strong little flick on. But uh, mopped up by Bolton there. Now I wonder what Mark Haley will have said to his players at half time. They held out until the very last seconds of that first half as uh, Newman Morley gets the ball on the right hand side puts a cross into the box but Franson's there with the headed clearance I'd imagine the Hull players would be very dejected to have conceded so late on in that first half but 
with uh, a vital goal for Bolton there just to get the noses in front and uh, with a little bit of shooting in this uh, second half I would imagine they could get quite a few more so Hull have the ball but it breaks for Gunn Larkson. now not many options at the moment Bob Taylor's made a run forward so Gunn Larkson just lays it back into the midfield and Klaus Janssen to Franson he's got support on the right hand side he may opt to come that way indeed he does to Jimmy Phillips I beg your pardon it's Neil Cox Cox again with the ball chips it over the top offside flag goes up from the linesman on this uh, near side good run by Johansson there but uh, just uh, a yard or two too quick for the Hull City defence no. if the scores were to uh, stay like this at uh, full time it could make for an interesting second leg up at uh, Boothbury Park uh, even more so if Hull were to perhaps grab a, an unlikely as it seems at the moment away goal as uh, Ricardo Gardner tries to make headway down the left hand side it comes to goal scorer Phillips again back to Gardner and Franson there could be uh, something brewing here for Bolton Gunn Larkson tries a little back heel but that comes to nothing and Hull can bring the ball away uh, nice little turn there away down the left hand side and uh, Neil Cox is chasing that one Hull have a few players up in support now tries to flick the ball over the top there uh, David Dora but the ball just uh, runs out and uh, good defending away on the far side and that's going to be a goal kick to Bolton it's uh, Neil Cox uh, just shifting the ball out under a, a little bit of pressure from Hull City early on in this second half so Bolton a goal to the good from uh, Jimmy Phillips first goal of the season for the defender Uh, star of the show in the first half I think uh, Gunn Larkson for Bolton giving his uh, fellow players plenty of service in and around the edge of the box and a few good shots himself so uh, maybe his gyro just a little bit off in that first half quite a few of them sailing wide of the mile let's hope he can do better in this second half nice little interception there from the Jamaican played down the line by Phillips, Gunn Larkson heads it down to Bob Taylor and uh, Gunn Larkson ends up on his uh, backside again there it really has been difficult conditions out there tonight a lot of rain falling and it's uh, made for rather greasy conditions as uh, Joska Leinen intercepts that one and plays it towards uh, Gunn Larkson a bad bounce there but uh, on the ball nearly bolt for Bolton but Hull City now have it down the left hand side Richard Peacock <coughs> probably Hull's uh, best player of the first half tries to chip it towards the far post and uh, David Dorner was coming in there and it was a good interception to keep that one away as a half shot again comes in from Steve Hawes but Franson can do something nice play there from uh, Per Franson Johansson's gone racing down the right hand side there's quite a few options for Bolton he opts for Johansson now what can Johansson do cuts inside can he lay it back for somebody tries for Taylor there's a deflection and that's just kicked away from in front of Steve Wilson there threatening moments early on by Bolton but Hull City can break now Brian McGinty running the ball through the midfield nice little break on but that'll only go as far as Jimmy Phillips and he'll complete the clearance John French loses out to Per France a nice ball down this left hand side now Ricardo Gardner lays it down the channel to Gunn Larkson in comes the cross and uh, Steve Wilson gathers that quite comfortably under a, a little bit of pressure from Bob Taylor but they've given it away again Johansson now coming towards the edge of the box lays it out towards the right hand side in comes the chip but that's too far and that's going to be a goal kick and, uh, Neil Cox just over hitting his chip there one minutes into this game six minutes in the second half now gone Bolton Wanderers still lead by one goal to nil a 
as again the ball goes straight from keeper to keeper. Really, that the whole forwards have been well marshaled by the Bolton defence. They've not really had many sniffs at goal. Just that uh, one good shot from Peacock after 43 minutes. And that was uh, quite easily saved by Joska Leinen. Gardner tries to make some ground down the left-hand side and wins a throw-in. Taken quickly towards the edge of the area in Gunlarks and he lets it go. Nice flick on there and a timely interception from Hull City. As again, Jansen gathers the ball down the left. Nice bit of sustained pressure from Bolton here. Can he uh, find one of his colleagues? He may bring it back to Gardner. Played in towards Gunnar Larkson. It's a half clearance by Hull City. Comes all the way back to Bergson on the halfway line. Inside to Johansson. Looks for Gardner on this left-hand side. A miscue there from uh, the substitute. Gardner could be in here. And uh, what's the referee going to give for that? It's a goal kick. Gardner obviously are just to have got the last touch on that. It's a nice piece of play from Ricardo Gardner, but just couldn't uh, win the corner from it. Headed from Phillips. Morley, the substitute, goes down under that uh, headed challenge. Captain David Dora with a nice little back heel, but uh, full force back towards the halfway line. Morley plays it into the area, but far too close to uh, goalkeeper Jaska Line in there. He gathers quite comfortably. Bergson aim towards uh, Bob Taylor but not quite enough on it he'll uh, get another chance to start something Gundy Bergson Franson plays it out wide towards Gardner good ball from Franson not really much support for Gardner but he finds Gunn Larkson a nice little flick on there's two Bolton players racing after that one Jensen might get there he tries the back heel he does keep it in Gardner tries the cross and wins the corner Nice little back heel from Jensen there to uh, try and tee up Gardner for the cross, but uh, he's won a corner for it. Gunlarkson with a short corner to Gardner on the edge of the box. Another back heel, this time by Gardner. Tries to float in the cross, half-headed there. It's broken free in the area and uh, scrambled clearance by Hill City. But uh, once again... Bolton apply the pressure straight from the off in the second half here. Johansson with the throw to Franson. Cox given time to work the ball around. But again it comes to Franson. Hull City seem to have uh, packed one or two more players into the midfield early on in this second half. As uh, another slip this time by Jimmy Phillips gives Hull City a throw in ball through the middle and Johansson straight in there with a the tackle but Hull still keep the ball it comes out to Ben Morley on the right hand side substitutes uh, looking to inject a few ideas in plays the ball inside attempted cross by David Brown well charged down and nearly got free in the area there but the covering tackle coming across from Greg Strong so Hull City have won a corner. It's going to be Neil Mann to take the corner, left-footed, swings it. Oh, and Joska Line and dropped the ball there and. Uh, any Hull player would have uh, reacted a little faster. Bolton uh, could have conceded an equaliser as it was. Jaskalainen and picked it up at the second attempt. As uh, Johansson picks the ball up on the right-hand side. One out on the overlap, but opts for Franson. Might try a shot, in comes a shot, but straight at Steve Wilson. 
and easily gathered there. Strong heads the ball back towards the Bolton front line, but uh, as Bob Taylor is coming back there. There's no real challenge from the Bolton forward line. It's again, Strong gets the header in. David Dora trying to make headway for Hull, but he's stopped by the Bolton defence, and Jansen can bring this ball away down the left-hand side. Lucky bobble there, but uh, Hull finally get it, but Jansen concedes a free kick in the process. Just to have uh, had a little nibble at Steve Hawes. So it's a free kick to Hull City. Down the right-hand channel. Attempted uh, back heel there from David Brown. But uh, quite easy for Jimmy Phillips. Just mops up, concedes the throw-in though. French. To the substitute, good tackle by Greg Strong. In comes across. Oh, and uh, Jaskalainen had come out there and it took Bergson just to head that one clear. So it's uh, a second corner to Hull and it'll again be Neil Mann who's going to take it. Last one far too close to Jaskalainen. Driven in hard. Oh, and uh, could have been an appeal for handball off Bergson, but Hull City still have it. Play it back into the danger area, and that's headed away by Gardner. But it's still with Hull. Neil Mann into the box, strong this time with the headed clearance, drops to the edge of the area, and again, Hull have a man free, and ooh, the ball flashed across the face of goal. And well, the referee's given a corner kick, so Jaskalainen must have got a touch to it. But uh, a little bit of pressure from Hull City here. So the third corner of the second half for Hull. Again, driven in hard and Jaskalainen gets his hand to it and that'll be another corner. And the Hull fans behind that goal getting a little excited as the team put on the uh, best bit of pressure. And there's a man down behind the goal. I can't see who it is at the moment but he's off the field to play and the referee's allowing play to go on. In comes the corner, but that should be mopped up by Gardner. It's a mistake there, but he gets it clear at the second attempt as uh, Per Franson's doing some hobbling behind the goal. But Bolton could break now. Gunlarkson chasing after the ball. He's got French in attendance and the referee gives a free kick and it's gone to Hull City. They've taken it quick down the left-hand side. Bolton temporarily down to 10 men but uh, that time the offside flag takes them and uh, Per Franson receiving some treatment behind the goal maybe a, a quick reshuffle of the Bolton pack while he's uh, getting himself sorted there he is looks like something to the left ankle let's hope it's nothing too serious but uh, Bolton have a free kick for that offside it's played up towards uh, Bob Taylor but uh, Intercepted by Neil Whitworth. And uh, scramble clearance by Steve Wilson away by the corner flag there, but Bolton have a throw in. And uh, looks like Franson's uh, struggling a little bit behind the goal. He's making his way back round. There goes the throw in, Johansson. Nice little flick there. Can cross come in, but that's charged down. And uh, the corner kick saved by, I think it was Neil Mann. As uh, Per Franson comes back onto the field after receiving that treatment. As uh, Johansson picks up the ball. Lays it back, in comes the cross, it's a low one. It may fall for Gunn Larkson, in comes a shot and a goal! Gunn Larkson makes it 2-0 for Bolton. And it looks oh so easy. One touch control and bang into the net. 
Bolton with a two goal lead Larkson's fourth goal of the season there for Bolton and it's Bolton to Hull City nil nice little move played into the box by Johansson one touch from Gunlarkson picked his spot and gave Bolton a two goal cushion as uh, Hull come forward a miscued clearance there it'll fall to the substitutes for Hull City now can he get a cross in at the second attempt Joska Lining comes out a little bit of juggling but quite safe Johansson up to Bob Taylor and he wins through and uh, Gunlarkson's in the box Taylor brings it just towards the edge chips it in there's Gunlarkson but uh, just a little bit too high for him but again Bolton win it back Gunlarkson got the ball but he goes into the box but the offside flags up there comes the cross into the box Gunlarkson a little bit with the head, left footed and really Wilson no chance in the Hull City goal, 2-0 to Bolton as uh, Johansson gets free down the right hand side again, no offside flag this time, pulls it across and uh, that's cleared by the Hull City defence and uh, the initial cross of that Gunlarkson goal there coming in, I think it was from uh, Neil Cox on the right hand side as opposed to Johansson there was a lucky bounce off the whole defender, but Gunlarkson took it ice cool. Little touch with his head and planted the ball into the right hand corner. It's a misplaced pass there. Goes all the way back to the Hull City keeper. Long ball upfield will be uh, tidied up by Greg Strong. Tries to play it straight back towards Ricardo Gardner, but Hull intercept that one, but again, lose out. So Jimmy Phillips involved in uh, both goals, scoring the first one on the stroke of half-time and uh, setting up the second one for Arno Gunlarkson. Long ball upfield towards Bob Taylor. He's uh, broken the offside trap. I don't know whether he'll manage to keep that one in. But he, uh, he just reaches it in time. Lays it back. Johansson to Gunnlaugson. Bolton have bodies in the box. Just touch back to Per Franson. Neil Cox with the ball. Cox tries to exchange passes with Gardner Gunlarkson with the ball trying to tee it up he opts to try and exchange passes there but uh, Hull City crowd him out on the edge of the box So, uh, Per Franson, uh, first Bolton player to go into the book there. For that challenge. So, uh, here at the Reebok Stadium with uh, 65 minutes on the clock, it's now Bolton, two goals to the good, the second goal coming from Arno Gunlarkson, it was set up down the right hand side by Neil Cox, a slight deflection off the Hull City head as Hull come forward here into the box, there's uh, appeals for a penalty there but uh, it did look more like a dive than uh, an actual challenge from the Bolton defence, it's uh, the first goal coming on the stroke of half time from Jimmy Phillips, nice left footed shot and uh, Hull City really went in demoralised after that, Bolton came out and started straight from the off in the second half and it was on uh, 61 minutes that Gunnlaugsson swept the ball home with his left foot, giving Steve Wilson absolutely no chance in the Hull City goal. So it's 2-0 uh, here to Bolton. 
in comes the cross and that's uh, just headed wide there so it's been a good all round performance from uh, Bolton so far there's plenty of uh, attacking two goals to show for it now Phillips and Gunlargson as they uh, make inroads into the uh, Hull City half yet again Gunlargson well that must be a foul indeed it is just a little barge there on the uh, armour Gunlargson taken quickly to Bob Taylor Gunlargson on the edge of the box it was a nice layoff by Bob Taylor but uh, Hull City managed to get that one away Cox down the right hand side Changes passes with Franson. Played up towards Bob Taylor. He lays it off for of Gunlargson. Gunlargson lifts it to Taylor. Taylor tries to flick on. Half appeal for handball from the fans around the Reebok there. But uh, Bull City have the ball down the right hand side. It's David Dora. He's trapped by Jimmy Phillips. Dora gets the ball into the box. And uh, just too far in front of the marauding David Brown. And uh, Joska Linen can pick that one up quite easily. Just uh, rolls the ball out to Gundy Bergson. Jensen that goes all the way back to Joska line and that's uh, not the best kick we've seen all night from the goalkeeper and it's gone straight to Hull City Stephen Hawes he's got Gardner in in support lays it off to French back to uh, Hawes tries to get it into the box but that's too much for Ben Morley and once again Bolton can bring the ball away and Larkson back to Cox Cox has got plenty of space in front of him to uh, have a run towards the Hull City penalty area and that's just what he's doing tries to slide the ball through to Gun Larkson but uh, just half a pound too much on it Wilson gathers comfortably Jensen beaten to the ball. A long ball by French. But uh, once again, the bottom defence win the day. And the captain, Gundy Bergson, looks to play it over the top towards Bob Taylor. Taylor gets ahead in and it'll fall for Ricardo Gardner. Just lost his footing for a second there, but uh, he still has the ball. He tries to take on the uh, challenge of Ben Morley. And in the end, Morley has to uh, concede the throw-in. Taken towards uh, Michael Johansson. On the edge of the box, lays it inside towards Bob Taylor, but uh, the drag back from Taylor wasn't good enough. And Strong plays the ball all the way back to Joska Leinen. Oh, and a nice pass there from the uh, Bolton keeper to Jimmy Phillips, the goal scorer of the first goal. Frenson uh, signals to Gardner to uh, make your way down the left-hand side, but uh, French was wise to that one. Janssen to Per Frenson. Space on the right-hand side, and uh, he finds Gunlarkson out there. He'll take the defence on, I'm sure. Exchanges passes with Frenson and uh, all the way back to Cox. Tries to slide it into Gunnlaugsen, but uh, Matt Hocking just shepherds that one out for a goal kick to Hull City. 69 minutes gone in this Worthington Cup. Second round, first leg. Bolton Wanderers 2, Hull City nil is the score. Jimmy Phillips and Armour Gunnlaugsen the scorers to date. And uh, really the Bolton players have uh, done a job here tonight. They've restricted Hull to long-range shots, really, and only two of them at that. So, nice little shoulder barge down there in the right-hand corner and the throw-in taken quickly to Johansson, but another case of lost footing gives Hull City a goal kick. So 
as Steve Wilson tries to get Hull out towards the uh, Bolton half but once again Bolton have the ball and nice run from Bob Taylor there and the throwing conceded right down by the corner flag and again it's uh, Matt Hocking just trying to tidy things up for the Tigers Johansson will take the throw into Franson Johansson has the ball he'll get the cross in there's Gunn coming in but uh, too much on that one and cleared away by John French the umpteen time tonight though Bolton won the ball back and they've got a throw in just inside the Hull City half Gardner right on the touch line and uh, control just lets him down a little bit there and gives possession back to Hull City flick on by Phillips to Bergson he's got plenty of space Gundy Bergson he's got options out wide right with Michael Johansson Johansson flicks it over the top towards Bob Taylor a little nudge in the back there I think but uh, well as Steve Wilson <laughs> just lets that one overrun a few hearts in mouths there but he tidies up <laughs> Colin Todd just uh, trying to G his troops up again and you'd think uh, another goal would uh, really make this safe Phillips with the clearance towards Franson but it breaks to Stephen Hawes and uh, Hull City looking to build in comes the cross there's a man at the far post oh dearie me and really he should have done better David Dora there he was clear and he had time for the shot but he managed to uh, skew it wide of Joska Linen's post one of the best chances of the night for Hull City there So uh, somewhat of a, a let off there from uh, Bolton. It's, uh, Greg Strong looks to get the ball forward. That nearly fell for Gunn Larkson there, but uh, ball just breaking free. And Hull City trying to uh, break it away. Nice little bit of control from David Brown. He gets the ball back. And, uh, foul coming in from Gundy Bergson there. Here's that whole City chance down the left-hand side. In comes the cross. And it's one of those right between the keeper and defender. And there's uh, Dora at the back post and uh, miscued his shot totally. They're the sort of crosses that get you in all sorts of trouble. But uh, the whole City man not equal to the task of converting it as uh, another tennis ball finds its way onto the field. Ball's played in again, the offside flag goes up and uh, the referee gives a free kick to Bolton. Franson with a little header towards Janssen. Jensen looks to take his man on, he's got Gardner free now and finds him. And can Gardner make anything of it? Plays it up towards the edge of the penalty area to Bob Taylor. He tries to thread it through. Oh, there's all manner of slipping there from Hull City. And uh, Gunn Larkson was there, but just too late to pick up the pieces and give Bolton a three-goal lead. Terrible mistake from the Hull City defence there. And Gunn Larkson was almost equal to it. So a bit of slipping due to the wet conditions once again causing havoc so it's uh, back with Bolton and uh, Gundy Bergson now there's uh, a bit of space in the midfield for him to have a run out lays the ball to Gunlarks and gets it back and out to Ricardo Gardner Uh, ironic cheers as the offside flag goes up against the Bolton player 
We haven't seen many of those tonight. Nice play coming in there from McGinty, but uh, couldn't get the crossing, but he's won a corner. There's uh, one thing Hull are winning so far tonight, it's the corner kicks. In comes another one, Joska Leinen gathers quite comfortably and he can release Johansson down the right hand side plenty of space can Larkson looks free if he plays it now he'll be offside but he doesn't he carries the ball through the midfield support coming up now and he eventually finds Gun Larkson on the right hand side several Bolton bodies in front of him tries to chip it towards Bob Taylor at the back post Taylor gathers lays it back to Janssen but uh, bad control there and Hull City can uh, relieve that uh, little bit of pressure Good covering tackle from Greg Strong there. Really has played well tonight, the uh, Bolton defender number six. Launched upfield for Hull by French. Only as far as Strong. Played back into the midfield and picked up by Stephen Hawes. Strong pass by Hawes out to uh, Neil Mann, but uh, dreadful pass there. And Really, the whole passing tonight hasn't been of uh, any sort of decent standard. They've made it uh, fairly easy for the Bolton defence. Pause with the ball for Hull City. Finds the man in space out on the left-hand side and... Uh, he can have a run here at uh, Neil Cox. Tries to cut inside on his left, on his right, on his left. Good shot. But again, just over the bar. And that was a promising attack from Hull City. Again, it's uh, Peacock. Probably, as I said a few times, Hull's man of the match. But there's just uh, 12 minutes left for Hull to try and snatch some sort of away goal here. They've had a couple of chances, nothing really clear cut. One good save in the first half from Joska Leinen. And then Dora just firing wide of the post on 72 minutes. Some of the Hull City substitutes warm up below us. Get a run for probably the last 10 minutes of this game. Maybe just try and uh, inject some fresh legs into proceedings. Once again, Bergson comes in through the midfield area, lays the ball towards Gunnlaugs, and he cuts back inside, but he's dispossessed there by Hull City. Threaded through a nice ball by Dora there to uh, Ben Morley. Tries to chip it over the top of Phillips, and there uh, could be half a chance here. And there's a goal for Hull City. It's Davy Brown. It was a good cross coming in from this uh, right-hand side. And there was Davy Brown to steer the ball past... Uh, Joska Leinen and Hull City have an away goal it was uh, set up by Ben Molly down this right hand side the cross eventually came in and there was David Brown there's the ball coming in from the right hand side and Brown had just slipped his marker and headed the ball down and into the goal pass Joska Leinen and all credit to Hull for uh, carrying on the fight. They've got an away goal. So Bolton's advantage now only 2-1. And uh, they'll be looking back on one or two of those good chances they've had that they've spurned. And that might just inject fresh legs into Hull City. Uh, Bolton have the ball Gunn Larkson the scorer of Wanderers second goal 
which is the one that divides these two sides at the moment. Bolton have a throw in, taken by Phillips, just flicks off a, a whole city foot and uh, played out by Bob Taylor towards the right hand side and Johansson. Can he uh, restore the two goal advantage here? Nice one too with Franson, gets the ball into the box, it may fall for Taylor, good luck, some with the shot. Oh, straight at keeper Wilson, unlucky there. He had to snatch at the shot, the ball just wouldn't come down for him and he couldn't really get the positioning that he wanted on the shot and Wilson was there to gather quite easily in the end. So Hull City uh, now pegged the score back to 2-1. And what a second leg we could have if they were to snatch a second goal here. But it's Janssen coming through the midfield. He's got Johansson on the right-hand side and also Neil Cox. It's Cox and Johansson contrived to get the ball back to Janssen strong now to Gunnlaugson Phillips plays it to Ricardo Gardner he tries to cut inside but plays it back to Phillips Janssen again tries to play through to Bob Taylor well, no push in the back there says the referee and Hull City can try and break here it's uh, Richard Peacock again with that ball down the left hand side but he just overruns it a touch and Cox manages to play it all the way back to Joska Leinen not a convincing clearance there ricocheting off a full defender well there's uh, Johansson with the cross controlled there by the big man and uh, well it was more of a back pass than a shot I think there had to take the shot quite quickly didn't really get the power he wanted on it but again, Bolton can come forward. Taylor to Johansson. Flick on there by Franson and a little bit of indecision from the two Hull City centre-halves. And that gives the ball back to Bolton. Seven minutes of this first leg tie left. Bolton Wanderers two, Hull City one. Jimmy Phillips after 45 minutes, right on the stroke of half-time for Bolton in the first half. Gunn with a second on 61. And Hull replaying with header from Brown after 80 minutes. So delicately poised at the moment. As a nice little ball there comes through. The shot tries to come in from the right-hand side. And uh, he'll just let that run out for a corner. Now can Bolton restore their advantage from this corner? It's going to be Gunn Larson to take the corner. The big men have come up from the back. Strong's in the box. Johansson lays it back to Gunn Larson. There's plenty of space for him to have the shot. In it comes and uh, deflected wide there by Neil Mann. But suddenly a gap opened in front of Gunn Larson there and uh, he went for the shot but Mann got back to cover. Arno Gunn Larson will uh, take this corner again. Chip towards the front post. Strong tries to get the flick on and the ball just runs free there. No Bolton player able to pick it up and Hull can try and break again it's uh, Dora gone down the right hand side but uh, David Brown the provider of uh, Hull City's goal gets the ball out to Peacock down the left hand side cuts inside France and onto his right foot but tries to tee it up there in comes a shot and deflected wide by Neil Cox and that's going to be another corner to Hull City five minutes left to try and grab an equaliser here And for all uh, Bolton's dominance in this game, they only have a one goal advantage so far. So it's Richard Peacock to take the corner for Hull City on the far side. Plays it towards the back post, in comes a free header and oh, off the crossbar and just over the top. And it was a free header at the back post there. And I think again it was David Brown with the header. And a golden opportunity for Hull City to grab an equaliser. In fact, it was David Dora. So 
So a let off there for Bolton. They cling on to that one goal advantage. So Hull City obviously with the tails up now. They've gotten away goal and it could so easily have been two there. Dora given a free header at the back post. The uh, Wanderers faithful getting a, a little agitated. Mark Haightley there will be uh, trying to urge his players on for one final push. Nice little flick on towards Johansson. Ranging towards the edge of the box. He's just held up there. Can he try and make something? Franson just drops his shoulder and tries to cut inside. Gets a shot in. In comes the cross from Hull City there. The man with a free header at the back post. And there it is, off the crossbar. A golden chance, but just slightly misdirected. But Hull can try and break again here. They've only got one man up, David Brown. And it's Brown who receives the ball out wide. He's uh, shadowed by Neil Cox. But the linesman flagging for a throw-in. And uh, Bolton can relieve the pressure. It comes back to Joska Leinen. High ball towards the edge of the area, cleared away by Bolton, and Bob Taylor lays it off to Ricardo Gardner. Gun logs and Franson goes on a run behind him. Johansson with the ball on the right hand side. Nice ball forward to Gun Largson. He's got space on the side to get across in with his left foot, and it comes. Well, that's a poor one. But Bolton still have the ball. Two minutes of normal time, this first leg left, but uh, another ball into the box, easily gathered by Steve Wilson. Mark Haightley will have uh, been pleased with that away goal. He's uh, side of fought valiantly here. Bolton have had the lion's share of the play and the chances but uh, the scoreline only reached 2-1 so far and it's not been as clear cut as some people thought it might have been this game Hull struggling at the bottom of the second division and that's a nice ball through there to Johansson on the edge of the box tries to get it on his left foot lays it off to Gunlarkson with the shot and that's charged down there this time by Neil Whitworth Bergson picks the ball up plays it out wide to the right hand side it comes to Johansson inside to Bergson, laid off for Franson. Oh, charged down, Franson with a shot! And it's a third goal for Bolton Wanderers. Per Franson finishing it off. Lucky deflection from a whole City defender, but Franson was there to smash the rebound in. And it's back to a two-goal advantage for the Wanderers. On the 89th minute, it's a third goal. Bolton Wanderers three, Hull City one. And there's the ball through from Johansson towards the edge of the box. Nice little layoff there. Franson gets the shot in. Lucky bounced back off the defender. And a nice little side foot right into the corner. And for the third time tonight, Steve Wilson, absolutely no chance. And that is now 90 minutes on the clock here at the Reebok Stadium. But still, Hull look to come forward. Can they get his second goal which would uh, really set the second leg up but Gardner has the ball and can bring it out but that's a, a bad ball forward and Hull just mop up they won't want to concede another one now so late in the game because 4-1 uh, for a second leg advantage would probably be curtains for the third division side they've battled valiantly but two goals at the end of each half have really uh, driven the nail at least halfway into the coffin nice ball over the top there and uh, Jaska Leinen in two minds whether to come out but finally gathers the ball on the edge of the penalty area
Joska Leinen plays the ball up towards Bob Taylor. Just a couple of little keep-me-ups. And it uh, helps Bolton keep the ball and the advantage. Another nice ball through to Taylor. Lays it off to Per France. And can Bolton get a fourth here in the uh, dying seconds? We're well into injury time now. Gunnar Larsson on the edge of the box. Uh, he tries to turn himself on the left foot, but... He probably should have taken the shot first time with his right. The space had opened up for him, but he opted to cut back in and got the deflection, which took the pace off the ball. And uh, Steve Wilson in the whole City goal managed to gather quite comfortably in the end. And there's the final whistle in this Worthington Cup. Second round, first leg. It's finished. Bolton winning this game. A goal by Jimmy Phillips. One by Armagun Larkson and on 89 minutes Per Franson with the third makes this game the first leg final score Bolton Wanderers 3 Hull City 1.